The, uh, the heat has been winning this win this summer yeah. in the Northeast. This is going to be our third heat wave, technically speaking, by standards of the Northeast, standards in New York, with uh, heat advisories in effect. It could yeah. be some of the hottest weather we've seen, though, all year in the Big Apple. It's been relentless, yeah. and we're going to continue. So, yeah, potentially that third heat wave of this summer. Uh, there's a look at the actual temperatures. Even as we wake up this morning, 82 in Philadelphia, D.C. already at 89 degrees. Uh, and even as you wake up in Syracuse, it's 83. You factor in the humidity with that, as you know, it's only going to get worse throughout the day. Um, so making sure you're hydrating, keeping those curtains closed within your home, keeping that sun out is going to yeah. help keep your house very cool. R truly. I mean, it's almost 90 degrees this hour in D.C., and we're talking records today, records tomorrow, records even Wednesday. Uh, some of these go back to yeah. go to the early 90s. Uh, Georgetown, Delaware could match, tie their record. Mm -hmm. D.C. could get to 100 degrees today. We've already seen that feat achieved in D.C., so a, a less of a deal, but still a big deal. I mean, triple yeah. digits anywhere is a big deal. You know, it's a big deal, right? Yeah. And if you, especially if you're trying to get out. This is the time when everybody likes to walk around our National Mall, check out the mm -hmm. monuments. So here's a look today at the heat indices across the Northeast. It's going to be brutal. Uh, and keeping that in mind, if you work outside, if you're walking around. A lot of people, Stephen, like, they like to head to the beach if they sure. can, right? Yeah. The Jersey Shore, uh, Long Island, and through the city beaches.